So this is a topic that I very rarely see get covered on denim head channels and I think it's one of the most important things that you should be looking for when you're looking for your perfect pair of jeans. What I'm talking about is green cast versus red cast denim. The cast that the denim has is more so about how the denim is going to age, not necessarily about how it starts off, but how it's going to end up and what you're looking for at the end of your journey with these jeans. Now, I have my own particular side that I like to lean on. Do I like both? Yes, I do. Do I wear both? Yes, I do. But there is one specific side that I lean towards because it delivers something that I'm looking for out of my pairs of jeans. What you're looking for might be completely different from what I'm looking for. There's no right or wrong, but there is a difference and you should know about it and you should be aware when you're shopping. I'm going to try and limit my own personal bias as much as possible within this video because I don't want my biases to affect what you guys are looking for in jeans. I want you guys to find your own style, your own passion, your own denim DNA. So with that being said, I will reveal which side I lean towards more at the end of this video, but for now, let's start off with Redcast denim. Redcast is the most common denim that you're going to see. It's used by high fashion brands, it's used by low fashion brands, it's used by raw denim brands, it's used by everybody. What Redcast denim is, is it's denim that's only dyed using synthetic indigo dyes. There's no sulfurs, there's no dye finishing, there's none of that bullshit. It's just indigo. Now, just because it's synthetic doesn't mean that it's bad. It's a true blue color, it's more uniform in blue, it ages to a very beautiful sky blue with a little bit of white due to the weft. A lot of people would probably say it's a more clean denim, and I would probably agree with them. Redcast denim starts off with this very deep dark blue and it has a little bit of a red or purplish tint on top of it which dissipates as you wear the jean. Casting is mostly important as you wear down the jean when it fades. You're going to start to see the effects of the cast that was imparted on the jean when it was made. Redcast is going to really have this bright blue color with very white fading. A lot of brands like Ironheart, Nudie, Samurai, Tanuki, and so many other brands use red cast denim. It is the most common cast denim in the world. And again, it's harder to see the difference at the beginning of the jeans lifespan, but you start to see it as it wears down towards the middle and end of the jeans lifespan. Okay, now moving on to green cast. What green cast is, is it's denim that fades down to a very yellowish, vintage -y green kind of color. Now there's two ways that I know of that you can achieve this. One way is by using natural indigo dyes purely from the indigo ferro plant. And the reason is because indigo dye actually starts off green. So what happens with this dye, as it's being dipped into the vat, as the cotton fibers are coming up, they're actually oxidizing. And what will happen with that oxidization is that the green is going to start to turn indigo or blue. Now it's not going to be as deep or dark as red cast. So you're not really going to get super high contrast fading. You'll get contrast fading, don't get me wrong. But if you're looking for something that's very iron hard, that's very dark and deep in contrast, red cast is probably for you. But that is why natural indigo dyeing is so expensive and it's so time consuming. Because in order to get a color that's remotely close to a very dark indigo, you have to continuously dip those yarns in dye vats over and over and over again and continuously let them oxidize and then dye again, then oxidize, then dye again. Now what will happen is, since the indigo is actually just coating on top of whatever is already on that fiber, you're going to be left with something that's not oxidizing behind the top layer. And what are those bottom layers? They're green. That's why when you see those very old vintage Levi's, you start seeing a lot of that yellowish, greenish kind of cast to it. That's because natural indigo dye never really turns purely indigo. Now, there is a synthetic way to do it where you do get that very deep high contrast with a darker kind of indigo color at the start of the jean. The other way to get a green cast denim is to actually use sulfur dye. Now, what will happen is the cotton 
before it's dyed with synthetic indigo, it's actually dyed with the sulfur, kind of greenish yellowish dye, and then the indigo is coated on top of that. Now this is very hard to see at the beginning of the jeans lifespan, but with the weft, you can start to see a little bit of that greenish yellow uh, at the start, and then it will deepen over time. Some of my favorite green cast pairs of jeans that I've ever seen, I haven't owned them, but they're Benzac Denim Developers Green Cast Denim. I mean, the way that those wear down in the pictures is absolutely crazy. You typically see Japanese denim more in green cast than you do in red cast, though they do use a mix of both, and there are some brands that primarily use red cast, but a lot of the Osaka 5 will use that natural indigo, which imparts that green cast naturally. You can get green cast jeans from brands like Benzac Denim Developers, or Gustin, or Nudie, or Oni, or even Full Count. There are a lot of green cast denim options if you just look for them and they age beautifully. I encourage everybody in their wardrobe, whether you lean more towards red cast or green cast, to own at least both. The reason is because the undertones are going to determine what colors that these jeans are gonna go with, whatever you're wearing on top, whatever shoes you're wearing, and it really adds a lot of depth and variety to your wardrobe. Now there are other casts that are less well known, like I've seen a gray cast, I've seen purple cast, but you don't really see those unless you're really looking for them. But yeah, just have fun with it, experiment with both, get familiar, and just know what you're shopping for. Now me, myself, personally, I lean towards green cast denim. And the reason is because green cast denim really ages down beautifully. It's that old vintage Japanese denim look. And it just has so much character and depth of color to me. To me, sometimes when things are too clean, it looks a little staged. But that's just me and that's fine whichever way you want to go. But make sure to comment down below which side you guys lean on more, whether it's red cast or green cast. I'm excited to see how this ends up.